Hello and welcome to another episode of Boulder Tanks Gameplay. This is our gameplay episode 6, KV for the win. And uh, at the moment we can see we're just starting off with the battle in the KV1. And uh, the reason for this video being called KV for the win is because when I was uh, starting to make the video and putting together all the clips I'd gotten in the last few days from playing, I realised that pretty much all my clips were of me winning in battles in the uh, various KV tanks I had and not much success in the others so I thought this uh, video should probably be focused on the KV line just cause anyway so we're here on the uh, map with the KV1 and just going down the middle of this map and I'm uh, trying to sort of see if I can flank the enemy team just being careful though watching out for an enemy tank that might try to come around the corner and just slowly keep an eye out and there we go we got a health cap straight away and a uh, really nice shot there, actually managed to take out its track as well as put some damage on it. And uh, that's let the other KVIS or 1S come along and shoot that. And uh, lucky timing there, the shot as well, I get my first kill. And so we're both coming up around this little pass here behind these enemy tanks. And uh, it's pretty good because we're going to get some good shots on these guys and flank them while they're dealing with all the heavies down the other end. And so I'm just having a bit of back and forth with this KV RS. And trying to put some, put some shots on it. They're both bounced. Uh, luckily his next shot is missed. And then that KV one is to get the CR kill. And so now we're going to move around this side here. And I'm going to be able to shoot straight into the backs of all these heavies that are sort of defending this area here. Uh, there we go, straight, a shot straight into that guy, and uh, just not enough damage to get that kill though. There we go, another kill for the KV-2. I think we just shot up by the H heavy tank number 6 there, that Japanese tiger. And uh, let's see if we can get this kill. Boom! Three kills for the win. And that was a fairly easy amount of kills for that battle. Later on in that battle I did manage to get some more kills but I died before we won the battle so that was a bit unfortunate. Anyway in this battle here in the KV-222 now I, it's kind of a love-hate relationship with this tank for me. Uh, I got this premium tank a while ago and I've actually been really successful in pretty much all the battles I've had with this tank. However I really don't actually like it. <laughs> um, because it's, it's gun is crap, like you look at the gun statistics, it, it does barely any damage or penetration, but I think what makes this tank so successful is that it's got just enough fire rate and accuracy along with uh, its armour, which I'm pretty sure is the equivalent to a KV uh, T-150's armour, and that let, lets it be fairly successful. Anyway, just going after this Hetzer here, just ramming that guy. I'd take off his last few hit points, he didn't stand a chance. This tank is especially good at ramming in its tiers. Uh, this is pretty much one of the largest tanks you're going to get. And so coming along here, you got that Marder 2, and he's, he's not going anywhere. Blocks off his escape route, and so he's picked up my second kill there. And I definitely think I uh, sort of played an important part in this battle, moving straight up the middle there and uh, putting pressure on the enemy teams while the, uh, I guess you could say my ally tanks have moved up the sides. But they're also doing their part very well. Uh, pretty much holding out, taking out the enemy tanks. And so I've just been shot at then by uh, an enemy arty, and I'm thinking, oh, he's probably going to be around the corner here. And I decide to go along this side here just in case. Because uh, if he's not on this side, the train tracks will get me. So a bit of a snapshot there, get a hit, which is nice. And just taking that some time to stop and put the auto aim on, and uh, managed to get I think it was my third kill. And so I can just tell now that the other RD is uh, sitting in this direction over here, and uh, I've managed to do some damage. I'm not really sure what I think it was taking in this track, but uh, he's a goner. Yeah, picking up my fourth kill 
and the last kill of the battle, pretty much. Now, nah, completing my, I think it was six mission and a heavy, and picking up a second class mastery badge, and a couple of others. Okay, now I'm just going to battle the T-150. Hurry along. Another reason um, I'm going to go this side rather than that side, if I do need to get to that side, because this is a slow tank, it's usually easier from this side due to the fact that uh, this hill is the taller one. And if you need to get over that hill over there, it doesn't take as long. And you have a great vantage point to shoot from. So I'm definitely going to try to get up close and personal with the other tanks in this battle. Would be fun to get a sort of a long range shot down on them. Got quite a bit of ammo to... And first kill! Ooh. Loving that auto aim. Just a little bit of damage on that guy. And he's going to be dead fairly soon. I've uh, done a bit of damage this battle. Woo. And let's see if we can't do a bit more damage and get some kills. So we're going to go up this hill here. So who does not want to face a heavy on a hill? That's me, me for sure. That's definitely me. And that light tank's moving around, so not much luck there. Ah, oh, they got a HG number 6. Okay, that's definitely my um, main concern at the moment. And what is with this damage? Uh, we can't have that, can we? Oh, okay. And now, SU-100. And he's managed to get him there. And I think that uh, Cromwell's gone as well. And he's dead. Woo. Definitely think it could have been a better battle, that's for sure. And I'm thinking that other tanks... Yeah, there he is. But I uh, kind of overwhelmed them. Not much of a... Not many... Much of a chance for me to do any significant damage here. Uh, I don't even know what that T-34 is trying to do. And I think with the derp guns... Uh, I'm going to try loading premium ammunition on them next time, just because I need that penetration to do full damage. I definitely think in that instance there, I would have done a lot more damage had it been that one, but I might have not have. See, times 5 experience really didn't get that much. And I've got an LTP for some reason. Um, don't know why. Oh well. Now we're just in the battle with the KV-1 again on this Ravina and uh, doing pretty well in this battle so far. Just picked up my first kill then on that SU-100. And uh, sort of at the beginning of the battle I'd already rushed down straight into the canyon. Um, I really like doing that at the beginning of the battles now, especially if it's in a battle where I'm not exactly the top tier tank. Um, but it's nice to just get down to that corner, and especially if you've got a couple of ally tanks down there with you, and uh, just sort of wait it out, and then you sort of move up and uh, sneak around with uh, at least expecting it towards the end of the battle, which I've done pretty much in this instance, as the, um, they're pretty much collapsed and they haven't taken any note of, uh, notice of us. Just to come around, and my shot has bounced off the back of that artillery. Um, missed that second shot there. And he's just managed to pick up a kill while he's running away, but he's not getting away anyway. 
and so I just managed to pick up my second kill and then coming back around the uh, enemies haven't got many tanks left and uh, let's see if we can pick up some more kills before this battle ends I was hoping that maybe we might be able to get a uh, battle with no losses and earn that medal I don't remember the name but the one where you don't lose any ally tanks but uh, it's not to be just always that one loss or two losses away as those tanks desperately try to at least take one enemy tank down with them and so just going along all that's left is that one artillery and I'm thinking okay so the artillery wasn't in the corner there but he's not going to be around the other side because we just swept through there so where was he so he must have been in the corner where I just came from earlier in the battle but now he's moved and the only way place he could have moved to now was down into the, uh, the ravine on the other side of the map so I'm thinking he's probably sl slid down the mountain and now he's trying to get to the other side where our base is and meanwhile I've tried to signal signal that to like my ally tanks but uh, they haven't really taken much notice <laughs> and so down I go so just they're, they're all rushing to that corner headless chickens I'm going down here ah, da, da. going down and then what do you know straight away there's that artillery he's already on the other side trying to climb up that hill but uh, he hasn't got a chance in hell <laughs> and neither do I, do I guess of uh, trying to kill him and straight away He's been taken out by, I think, our friendly artillery. Uh, a fairly good battle, times three for the first battle of the day. And I uh, didn't put much damage down. Okay, now I'm in the T-150. And, uh... This is a bit of an interesting match here. It's already been going for a few minutes, and I've just been sitting here in the middle, um, taking a couple of hits. I missed that shot there, it's a bit silly, but the order aim on. And I think the T-150 I've got now has actually got the top gun. I've just managed to unlock the top gun on it. And I uh, really like this gun. Um, the damage output and penetration and accuracy are all really great. And I was surprised, because I wasn't expecting the gun to be so good, but it's actually... A really good gun. <laughs> and uh, so just sort of that side there has collapsed and so I'm just going to go straight down the middle. I uh, can't remember at this moment. I think I might have gotten the next upgrade for the engine. And so I'm a lot faster now. And going around and just a snapshot. And lucky me was an accurate shot and managed to get that first kill of the battle and so the enemy team's quickly collapsing uh, there's only a few of them left here and uh, fortunately missed the next couple of shots which would have led to a few kills I'm sure and just too late in either instance uh, so there's two enemy tanks left, and I'm just going around this rock here, being careful of the enemy stug. I did think at the time it was an artillery. I wasn't really checking uh, closely what's going on. But uh, another snapshot sort of there, and I uh, managed to get a second kill. And it's a couple of good battles in the KVs. And so I walked away with a third class mastery badge and uh it's great. But anyway, uh thanks for watching videos and uh leave a comment with any suggestions if you liked it or a like if you just wanna say that you liked it and uh see you next time.